This is the book of Amos chapter 3 and verse 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in a city and Yahweh Bashem Yahushah have not done it? Yahweh Bashem Yahushah Bashem Rakakudash. Rakatah wa Rakatam. Shalom unto the elect and one third of the children of Israel. This is prophets in Babylon, Tampa Bay, Florida. My name is Brother Daniel Allah by my side. Brother Ashar. Double honors to the teachers and the head apostles of the great millstone of Ruel. Peace and salutations to the all who pushing up this work of truth and sincerity. Also, Brakatah to the Kwafi who are listening as well. All right, so we got two articles that we need uh, to talk about. You know, we're going to bring out the first article. Put the news break app. Okay. So the um, uh, on the Florida one. Oh, Con. This is a article on news break titled saying major food shortages could come to Florida. Con. So right now, you know, us brothers of uh, the province in Babylon, we are located in Florida. Okay. But we all know for a fact. That there, but there are food so, like shortages all over the United States and also all around the world, okay? So we know that for a fact. But, you know, this article is uh, mainly explaining about the state of Florida. So go ahead. Calm. Going into the article, it reads, As we all know, Floridians are already paying high record prices for everything. Uh -huh. If you've been to the grocery store recently, You've noticed that prices have risen across the board. Shelves have gotten increasingly bare and more than half of the products are out of stock, which is true. Okay. Florida being the, um, the so-called vacation state, you know, because, you know, Florida is well known for a Disney World, you know, a Sea World, you know, uh, certain resorts, you know. You know, it's, it's known for like the big cities like Tampa and Miami. You know, like people like come here all around the world to see Florida and to see, you know, you know, all kinds of stuff here, you know. So rent has been going up. Food prices have been going up. Brothers witnessing stores, uh, certain shelves are being stocked up and certain trucks have and certain trucks have not been coming in. Oh. Restaurants are losing business due to uh, um, people who can't afford to go out to eat, you know? Uh, I remember at camp on Saturday that uh, a brother mentioned that 77.7 .7 Americans uh, are not going out to eat due to, uh, you know, inflation, due to gas prices, you know? And uh, slowly but surely, you know, it's gonna get even worse, all right? And we're seeing it, you know? We're seeing it day by day, you know, people talking about how like uh, that there's not enough business here and there, so like they're cutting people's hours, you know. And uh, and I work at a restaurant and they cut in my hours, but I know, th uh, but I know through the spirit power, y'all bless my shot that he'll provide for his servants, you know. Uh -huh. You know, and and I know there's certain brothers within this truth that work at restaurants as well, and probably going through the same thing. But Yahweh Shemashai got your back. As long as you serve him with true sincerity, he got you. All right? Gone. And going into this article with that paragraph that I read, I'm going to read it back. It says, shelves have gotten increasingly bare mm -hmm. and more than half of the products are out of stock. Mm -hmm. And that's a prophecy being made manifest, being made clear of 2 Ezra 6 and verse 22. It reads, and suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown, the full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. So as we're being aware of the things that's going on in this place, as we're watching for these prophecies to be made manifest, the other people are gonna be caught off guard and unaware. So it's gonna suddenly happen to these people because they're not prepared for these things. And as we read in this article, it said that shelves have gotten increasingly bare. So there's gonna be a time when you just wake up and there's not gonna be no food. That's right. It says, and more than half of the products are out of stock. So they already have half of the products out of stock. Just because you go into the store and you see that those shelves are, you know, look like it's filled, that don't mean that they don't have nothing in, I mean, that, that don't mean that they have enough to restock in the back. Absolutely. Because I went to a store today, you know, 
well, before sundown, okay, I went to the store and I was looking for a certain pe a food product that was cheaper, you know, of the tuna fish. And I asked the lady if she could check in the back, all right? And she told me, she said, if it's not in the front, we don't have none in the back. And then I told her, I was like, well, what about the restock? Like I always ask. And then she said, well, when the trucks do come and uh, they, they come for the stock, she said they usually don't have those foods no more. That's what she told me. And I told her, I said, how long have you worked there for? She said, for three years. I said, based off your three years, how, how um, has this situation, you know, reoccurred multiple times? And, you know, how, how bad was it? She said, this is the worst it's been. Mm -hmm. So that's, this is not a repetition thing of, oh, it's always happened before. We had this problem before of inflation and this, that. The, no, it's, it's the worst it's been, okay? And that's something to keep highlighting. This is going to be the worst time ever, man. That's right. This is not going to be a, oh, we got through it before, build back better. Nah, the Most High has better plans. And that's going back to Amos, you know, chapter 3 and verse 6. Shall there be evil in the city? The Most High is doing these things, man. It says, and have you, how about you not done it? No, the Most High have. And we know it. We got that understanding. That's right. Con. So with that, you know, is there any precepts you got on that? Con, and uh, if I may add as well, the reason why they have certain things that, that that look stocked up, but it's not really stocked up in the back, so they won't cause a panic, a panic uh, uh, with the customers or with the guests. Con. You know, because if you, if you, um, if they didn't try to, uh, you know, make the shelves look filled up and everything, People are gonna panic, and they're gonna what? They're gonna uh, like cause themselves to riot and to, uh, and to steal the the food products, man. You know, mm -hmm. you know, uh, at like every grocery store, and like uh, I've been told, every grocery store and uh, like certain um, like food preppers you see on YouTube, they said uh, every grocery store carries three days worth of groceries. So all those three days worth of groceries can be can be stolen less than a few hours by a group of angry mobs, man, uh, 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 of, of citizens. Mm -hmm. You know, I got something to back you up on that. Go ahead. Scriptures, Go ahead. Second Ezra chapter fifteen and verse nineteen: A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, mm -hmm. but shall destroy their houses with the sword, which is weapons, and spoil their goods because of lack of bread. That's right. So it says because of the lack that's of right. bread and for great tribulation. So that's why, you know, these people that's, you know, placed on high estates where they don't want people to go bug out and freak out. All right. Which is the ones that's, you know, having the, the, the heads of those restaurants and stores. They're not going to tell the people the truth, man. They're going to sit there and try to say it nicely and smoothly. OK, they're going to be like, OK, well, you know, maybe later on. You know, hopefully it gets better. It's not though, okay? Because they understand that when people panic, they're gonna go into survival mode. And what's that? That's in this scripture, man. They're gonna be killing people with whatever weapons they have to gain the, necess the necessities that their body needs to survive. God. And these people are used to having fast food, having food easy accessible, man, That's right. in this society with the convenience stores. And this is how you understand too, if you look at the 24 hour stores like Walmart, all those places are not 24 hours no more. Okay, so it's a play on your mind. They're trying to slowly, all right, have you be able to be ready for this famine, but there's gonna be a time when suddenly, bam, there's not gonna be no more food at all for anybody, man. And that, and when it, that time happens, that's how you know everybody's gonna bug out that wasn't prepared because they don't, they didn't take heed to the word and the scriptures of the heavenly father, man. They're gonna be left, all right, for the famine, all right, for the famine to die or for the sword, which is weapons to die from the sword. And they're going to be de sanctioned for certain deaths, man, because the most high kills and makes a lot. So if you wasn't seeking for mercy during the grace period, during the times when the evils, you know, haven't touched you, you haven't got punished. All right. For the wickedness and iniquity, you know, that you have done Come. and you haven't said repentance. The most high is going to have a certain prophecy, you know, for you to be taken out the game. Come. Gone. So it's going to be great tribulation. Come, come back to the precept. Come, Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 19. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. Come, 
you know, as the scripture says, uh, the, like the love of many shall wax cold. All right. So America is the only country that's adding chemicals within their food because what? Because the soil is tainted. So therefore they will have to make food from a lab. You know what I'm saying? Bioengineered and, you know what I'm saying? Uh, bleached and rinsed dough. You know what I'm saying? Like all, all these fake ingredients that, that's been mimicked from the actual ingredients made into labs to feed the people. And there's so many chemicals within the food, man. Like trisodium phosphate and cinnamon toast crunch. You know? That's a paint thinner. So all these chemicals entering people like entering people's bodies is going to cause them to get crazy when they don't eat all right and i hear all the time you know like certain brothers within this camp worked at certain restaurants and we hear people all the time man i'm hungry i'm hungry and like uh sometimes when they're hungry they get a little angry you feel me you know just because they didn't eat breakfast or lunch you know so like how much more when there's no more food man you're gonna see the real, um, like the real character from that person when they're not, you know, uh, like filled with food, man. It's, it's, it's gonna be crazy. God. You know? That's why the Lord gave us a, a custom to the Israelites, and that is, is to fast. Fasting is a it, is an Israelite custom, you know. It's, it's an Israelite custom, and we must apply within our lives because if we don't fast and you go days without food you're gonna you man like like lord's will you don't go insane but the, there's a 50 50 chance that you might end up being um being insane man uh, and that that goes if the most is dealing with you you know when you get in this truth you get the proper names you get the proper way to you know go about fasting all right that comes with faith you have to believe that the most High will sustain you in those times and if you don't have that, you know, that's because the Most High didn't give it to you. Because faith was created, you know, in the womb. So it was predestined. It was a gift. So, you know, the ones that have it will cherish it. Everybody else, they despise the word. So that means the Most High is not going to sustain them in a time of famine. Mm -hmm. Okay? So it's going to get worse. And that's how people, that's how it's going to be when people don't, when there's no food. Imagine, y'all seeing all these mass shootings going on. You know, we got an article going in on that. Go ahead. So imagine when, you know, there's no more food, though, how people will react. Let's grab this. This is another article on Newsbreak titled saying, at least five dead, 27 injured mm -hmm. as wave of weakened mass shooting in U.S. continues. So it's not just a one day thing. It's, it's, it's diligently happening, man. The most High is making moves in this earth. Okay. The first paragraph says, at least seven mass shootings have occurred across the country since Friday night, making this the fourth consecutive weekend in which U.S. law enforcement officers have responded to multiple incidents involving four or more victims shot. Come on, and, and bring out uh, the second paragraph. Come on, the second paragraph reads, shootings this weekend have left at least five people dead. Mm -hmm. And 27 injured in seven cities. In seven cities. That's completion. Completion, man. calm. So imagine seven times whatever. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It can be seven times three, uh, five, 20, 30, 50. Mm -hmm. It's going to be wild out here, man. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, uh, and I remember. We, I remember we read a, a paragraph in, uh, in, in California in Los Angeles that they can't respond to every single incident, mm -hmm. you know, of a, of a 911 call. So like if someone does like a petty, uh, like a petty theft, they, 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 they will not respond to that, you know, only to light threatening uh, um, incidents, mm -hmm. you know? So Crimes how, increasing. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? And, um, and, um, uh, and where uh, George Floyd died, I think Minneapolis, like Minnesota, right? I think it's Minneapolis. I'm unsure, to be honest. Come on. So, like with the riots uh, uh, occurred, you know, where uh, George Floyd is, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be like that, but a trillion times worse. Because all the people that stayed within that city destroyed everything. And now, everything that's been destroyed, they're going to have to travel to certain places that have not been destroyed 
which will cause even more, uh, um, you know, violence as well. You know, you're going to see people destroying and gutting out grocery stores, gutting out uh, even uh, t- or like, you know, like uh, like clothing stores. I don't know why, like, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know why they're going to do that. You know what I'm saying? But like, you know, like people robbing, uh, you know, like, uh, like electronic stores with TVs and stuff. It's not going to profit them, you know, but that's how these people are, especially, you know, um, like that uh, holiday after Thanksgiving, which is uh, what Black Friday, you know what I'm saying? Imagine Black Friday, but with food, you know, God and police is they they not responding to rape calls, though. You know, there was a recent article talking about that like last week, man. And they said because of how high these gas prices are. So, you know, inflation is playing a hand in crime, too. Okay. Yes, yes. I did see an article uh, on the group chat. A brother posted saying that the police... Uh, are not responding to rape calls. Y- yeah, because... Uh, like, the gas for the patrol officer. Yes, it's, um, it's, it's increasing. Mm-hmm. So they can't get to certain situations mm-hmm. like they should. So they're cutting off certain crime to respond to. So what is that, what is that going to implement? More crime. Absolutely. And, and it's all be, and it's all the doings of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shem Shah, man. I got a precept real quick. Isaiah chapter 45 and verse 7. I form the light mm-hmm. and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, Yahweh Shem Shah, do all these things. Okay. So as the evil that's coming in the city, everything that we see be made manifest and be seen, it's all the doings of the Heavenly Father, whether it be good or evil, you know? And we're the ones bringing it out. And we're rejoicing in the judgments and we're rejoicing in the works of the Heavenly Father, man. And it's going to be even more powerful in the times we're coming into, man. That's right. Most of going to make it known that it's him that's doing these things, man. Just like he did in Egypt. All right. How powerful Yahweh Shemashai was. He was above all those false gods. You know, he set up Egypt with all these false gods that, you know, these people prayed to and reverence. And then he's like, nah, oh. I'm the top. You know, I'm over everybody. That's right. There's nobody above me. And he destroyed that place and wiped it out. Come, come. And if I may add, in Ezekiel chapter seven verse five, because you know the day of the Lord, you know, what I'm saying he's gonna make nothing but evil, man. It's gonna be a second Exodus, come. all right, here in Babylon the Great, all right. So this is the book of Ezekiel chapter seven verse five. Thus say the Lord Yahweh, and evil and only evil, behold, is come. Verse eleven: Violence is risen up into a rod of wickedness. None of them shall remain, nor, nor, nor of their multitude, nor of, nor of any of theirs. Neither shall there be dwelling for them. So violence is going to, so we're going to witness a high level of wickedness, the, the rod of wickedness. We're going to see uh, violence being risen up in 4K, man. So I never seen anyone do uh, uh, like riots. I, n- I never seen a riot before. I never seen people die in the streets before. I never see. I, n- I never. I never been incarcerated before. But all these things, man. You know, like the Lord might put on these prophets, man. You know what I'm saying? Like to witness the, um, like uh, to witness the reward of the wicked. Come. Um, you know. So. We're gonna and, and like every individual is gonna uh, experience something that they never experienced before. Some may have experience, some don't. But the Lord's gonna be with you to show you everything, to show His power, mm-hmm. right? So it says, verse eleven: Violence is risen up into a rod of wickedness. None of them shall remain, nor of their um, multitude, nor of any of theirs. Neither shall be um, welling for them. The time has come. The day draweth near. The time has come. The day draweth near. Let no, let not the buyer rejoice, nor the seller mourn, for wrath is upon all the multitude thereof. So we're gonna see the buyer and the seller mourn, man. All right. We're gonna see uh, the buyer not rejoice, and we're gonna see the um, like the seller mourn because they're not gonna have enough business, man. It's gonna be that bad out here, man. You know. Like with Uber, with Lyft, uh, with the truck drivers, uh, uh, the diesel, you know, we're going to witness all these people um, like lose their um, like businesses, man. And we're going to see the economy crash 
worse than 2008, worse than the Great Depression in the early 20th century. Okay? So it gets so bad out here, man. It's going to be pestilence. It's going to be a lack of bread. You know? Let's get that. Verse 15. The sword is without. And the pestilence and the famine within. He that, he that is in the field shall die with the sword. And he that is in the city is... And he that is it is in the city, famine and pestilence shall devour him. Okay? So we're going to witness the plagues being released from the Lord, man. You know? In, in all aspects, man. We're going to see different forms of pestilence. You know? We're going to see the, the, the lack of bread in person. And we're going to see... The, um, we're going to see like the reward of the wicked... At a high level, man. It's gonna be crazy out here. You got anything? You, oh, you got anything to add? That's all. You got anything? Con. So look, man. It's going. It's, it's going to come. Uh, grab Habakkuk two and three, and we're in on that. Con. <clears throat> this is the book of Habakkuk, chapter two and verse three. Mm -hmm. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, mm -hmm. but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. It will not tarry, man. The vision will come in an appointed time. We're close to that appointed time, man. I was listening to Elder Apostle Tahar saying that we might end up being out of here by next year. Lord's will. Calm. We, we might end up being out of here by next year. Lord's will. Yahweh Tazah. That's what we hope for, man. So we're going to witness the time speed up. We're going to witness uh, a time like never before, probably within the next few months. And that's what we hope for because we are prisoners of hope and we hope for good as well. Con, you know, I got to preach it real quick for that. Go ahead. This is the book of Romans chapter 13 and verse 11. Beautiful. That's the spirit. Go ahead. And that knowing the time uh -huh. that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. Mm -hmm. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Come on. Our salvation is nearer than we believe, man. Come on. You know? Mm -hmm. go so, ahead, go so ahead, yeah, go so ahead. it's nearer than we believe, you know? So the, the, it say, though it tarry, wait for it. It will surely come. It will not tarry. So as we seeing these things be made manifest, you know, these prophecies coming to pass, we, we said in a time like, oh, it, it can be next year or it can be a few months. It can be a week. All right, but they say our salvation is nearer than when we believe. So, you know, the most high knows the time. We don't, but we understand that it's approaching. All right, it's coming. It's very, it's, it's a short amount of time because they say this, this, this is a light affliction. All right, and it says for the elect shape, Yahweh shall, shall speed up the times. Okay, so that's why it's a very, it's, we, we, we got to be in the spirit so we can be ready for these times and we understand that the most high is dealing with us. Yahweh is all we continue in this walk and, and, and continue doing the things that we're supposed to do. All right. And we're going to see salvation quick, man. You know, you got to believe that, though. You know, it's all about faith, because without faith, you can't please the heavenly father, man. That's right. You know, so with that scripture, every brother, you know, that has ears to hear and eyes to see, believe that. <laughs> and we gonna get up out of here, man. All right. That's why we catch hell, you know, to seek Yahweh Yahweh 10 times more and understand why we suffer for our sins. All right. So with that, Yahweh is all this was edifying. Call her law. Yahweh bar shim yaw shot bar shim rakakodash. Until next time, I say shalom. DTA a bar ball soon.